Hi guys, so I guess this YouTube thing is interesting. For the first time, instead of TV, we're getting an array of channels that you can choose from that specialize in something. I mean, I'm not seeing TV in the TV face, maybe you know. That's a beauty in the wisdom of the crowd, or something. That's a phrase like that. So, you get to see one perspective and analyze it. So, I mean, it's just the TV mafia that's left now, I guess. Which I think I can be arguing. It's a joke. It's a joke of how, you know, one can think like that. So, you know, one is inclined to do it's a fight club analogy. Better read. Okay. So I, I thought the anime is post about something different than mental illness. Which I'm not liking the word mental illness. Brain health. So this video I guess is about tea and coffee and my results. As many of you know, I have written on my Facebook as uh, being a writer, scientist and uh, uh, activist. But uh, I think all three are science kind of here to do them scientifically. So writing I have written up, but I'm trying to sell it for like four thousand, six thousand dollars or more actually. Um uh, so I can't give you that. I used to have good writings for free on Facebook, but honestly speaking there's like a post or two in a week or a form that was like in a year. And I removed them also. Unfortunately, I, I have too many Facebook accounts. I think I reduced it to two, and now it should be one, but Facebook is not giving me a good time. Wait, hot. So, this one is about tea and coffee. Sorry if I already bored you. I think it's interesting, maybe I'm boring, but uh, I think this YouTube thing is interesting because I didn't think of it that way, but uh, maybe convert this into a you know, uh, YouTube has got this channel thing where they give you money for it, but uh, there's also, um, yeah, you have to get a pretty good following and other things for you to become a channel. No, that, that's not live. For live streaming, you have to have a pretty good uh, you know, uh, honor badges and stuff. So, and uh, yeah, oh, Modi's monkey bath at 11 30 a.m. Notification. I think I've captured a few people's imagination. Oh, I'm smelling sweet biryani. Hopefully, I make a good post. I don't want to out the, you know, the. So um, I have. I'm pretty sure because of my writings and whatnot, the government has taken note, or someone has taken note. Let's not say anyone. Someone has taken note. Uh, yeah. I'm not going into any more details because I guess if. You reveal a few secrets, then the country cannot function. Uh, it's depending on a kind of a secretive method. Of, and once that is, then bad people can take advantage of it. Anyways, I'm not getting into that, but tea and coffee. So tea, it seems, is more medicinal than coffee. Coffee is supposed to be good for your heart. Uh, coffee is supposed to be, I think, good for clearing your system. Uh, you know, toilet also, but then chai can also do that to some extent. But I think I've heard that tea, black tea, can stop constipation. Anyway, my experience is you could make a lot of types of tea, uh, cardamom tea, water. You just put a pinch of water spice you want, but um, I guess spice is only not uh, um, other things. I guess I don't know. You might want to be. Uh, careful about the amount of spice you put into the tea uh, usually uh, kind of at the end of boiling or during boiling and 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 you don't want to boil it too much and the taste to get ruined you could try by boiling it thermalic tea something like that um, then what is tea yeah for people like me with I guess um, brain health sensitivity I know there's another word called highly sensitive people which I'm beginning to think is right. So uh, a little amount of tea is enough to make me go uh, hyper on days that I'm already feeling bad or whatever. So um, I think I may have developed something like caffeine sensitivity. So hopefully the tea companies and coffee companies don't hate on me. They're both a big, 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 I guess, uh, um, 
money makers uh, <clears throat> with good reason maybe so both seem to have medical properties i guess um, uh, if you are feeling down it's a stimulant but for a person like me with uh, more of a kind of a i get a few i get really happy sometimes that's the same so and then okay i'm also withdrawing so i've noticed that the level of clozapine in my system will go down if it's a diuretic especially and caffeine kind of excites your brain so uh, you may not want to take it if you're withdrawing off medications uh, the medications are already you know trying to keep you sedated and when you take it off the brain will comp compensate it's like what the hell what the hell and you don't want you know that is, I mean, the medicine I am taking is clozapine, which is the strongest, one of the strongest medicine prescribed in 2012. I believe in really bad situation. Uh, not even, not necessarily on my part, more of a doctor bad situation. Sorry. So I think the doctor felt embarrassed that I was coming to the emergency room three times already, and he was not able to you know, treat me fast. In any case, I think clozapine works okay, but it comes with a lot of side effects and it easier would have been just talk therapy cbt or the psychologist so they didn't allow that also so that's the interesting part you know uh, or maybe the psychological counseling made it worse the psychologist was crap <laughs> i'm not going into that one so in any case um, maybe at least for me i'm i'm not a big believer in like taking atheists to uh, religious hospitals when there's private and government hospitals around maybe government is a bit religious now but uh, still it should be okay i think with government hospitals run by a religious kind of keen kind of uh, nationalistic party uh, we'll have fear because uh, you know let's say don't want to partner with others or anything so in fear of being seen as anti-national corrupt and all that so Actually, religious hospital might be okay-ish. I can't. I'm not going to put myself to another experiment. I think for people, I've done enough my experiments on my body, so that's gonna stop. Uh, hopefully. Uh, so tea and coffee, yeah, excites you. Definitely not recommended if you are going through a withdrawal and uh, withdrawal uh, from clozapine and all those things. Uh, not recommended if you think you'll get hyper that day. Uh, actually, I took a risk now and took some comp plan with some coffee in it. Actually, enough coffee to get me activated, but um, we'll see how that goes. I, I should stop this experimenting. It's conclusive that I get excited and more than excited, anxiety. Okay, that's it. I think uh, coffee and tea has got a lot of properties, like including clearing your lungs. Uh, you know pumping your system quite well uh, you know feeling rejuvenated i guess um, the heart, it's kind of good for the heart i guess as well as for the blood vessels good for some level i guess diabetes i may not have uh, read that one fully if you are having sugar in tea and coffee then which is bitter uh, you know tea and coffee are bitter by itself that's what I only take by with milk, so it's not pure tea, but the bigger milk I read. I don't like black tea and black coffee. So something about it. Okay. So another thing you can do is you can drizzle a bit of pepper on top of your tea and it'll be like spicy tea. Masala chai. You don't have to put anything else. Uh, you could try the cardamom and all that thing. So that'll be cardamom tea and all those. Um and then for coffee, I have tried okay, there's turmeric tea, that's also pretty good. Um, and then uh, I think for turmeric tea you boil the milk okay and you can boil the milk as it is if you want thick tea but the most ideal tea I find myself is not too thin not too thick so you can put just the amount of water if you overdo the water it's going to go bad uh, then you could just make black tea and put I guess oh, that's a good idea you could just put a uh, you know the milk in it without boiling the milk because the tea is hot enough and i'm talking about milk that is standard quality like over here we get something called milma which is homogenized you know it's a milk that's very famous and it's common so it's like trusted very well like this uh i just had some with it and tasted okay ish i mean the milk by itself tastes a bit weird actually but with tea it's good 
just for making tea. Um, boiling then milk and drinking tastes a bit weird, I think, but depends on the person. A lot of these things also depend on the mind, because you, the way you taste it can subtly differ based on how your mind and mood is. So that's it. I have felt completely amazing moments drinking tea, but then the problem is one hour later it hits your system, it hits your brain, caffeine, and then you get excited and. Like if you are withdrawing off medications, you feel the clench, which is like, clenches, I guess, I don't know, I haven't come across other people, but it's this feeling of muscle tension or muscle stiffness or muscle kind of contact, you know, stressed, we hold like this, right, we can't just relax it. So constantly I feel myself relaxing the muscles. It's very irritating then, all uncomfortable and everything. Right now I feel sleepy and I've had a good sleep. Eight hours or something and feeling sleepy because uh, I think I, my system hasn't gotten sleep for good one year or more uh, with other years you know kind of like a, okay in a week I get two days good and then three days average and then uh, what other two days horrible so I mean how can you deal like this with at least the five days of bad sleep and two days of good sleep where you can work, you know, actively. So I'm reduced to working on in bed to a large extent. Right now, after taking Complan and this thing, that's just 10 minutes ago, but I feel very tired. I just want to go to sleep. And uh, some days you don't want to wake up, not really. That's just once in a year or two. Uh, I don't know, things. I guess I'm a psychiatric survivor. I don't know. A lot of psychiatrists, uh, you know, downplay and make fun of it. And we are not very organized either because of uh, whatever. So it's really a cruelty thing, right? I mean, the humans come up with something cruel uh, every hundred years. They don't realize it until the next hundred years. Uh, unless, you know, something tells me psychiatry is it. You know, this, this century is. Um, cruelty is psychiatry. Every century has got some cruelty. So, like maybe colonialism was or something, slave trade. Uh, maybe if you are on the receiving end of this cruelty, you tend to be an activist in that area. I just got lucky, I guess. <laughs> or unlucky. I don't know what I mean. So, yeah. I, I just find this whole deal of another human analyzing another like a bit like slave trade you know like three four uh, slaves kept on stage for auction and you know people look at their body tell them to turn around and stuff and then they select you know one they like uh, it's, it's a bit it's a bit funny as well like a person sitting in front of you claiming to help you i was just thinking the other thing also but that's for another discussion so tea and coffee and coffee also oh i made coconut tea I had this coconut uh, slice, I mean, you know, dried coconut pieces, not pieces, but shredded, shredded pieces. Okay, so I put it in tea, um, like directly, uh, hoping to have a coconutty flavored tea. Kind of was that, but uh, you know, coconut cools you and tea kind of heats you up, as well, kind of, you know. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm not saying temperature wise, uh, maybe system wise, like heats you, rejuvenates you, pumps that hard up and uh, I guess hot uh, yeah that's uh, coconut cools you down what else coffee I haven't tried any much uh, with the coffee but there's supposed to be some pumpkin pumpkin spiced latte or something that Starbucks has it's pumpkin flavored or something um, and then what else tea so my uh, my method of making tea is boiling milk with just a little bit of if you're taking let's say 10 units of milk then put like two units of water in it you know people i think may go overboard uh, uh, although i like light tea over uh, i mean thin tea or thick tea so yeah 10 to 2 2 is to 10 10 is to 2 uh, if you put 8 units of milk, put 2 units of, sorry, 10 units, 
if you're putting two yeah then eight units of milk two units of water in it to make a complete 